Hey y'all, welcome back. Today I wanted to share a quick tutorial on how to mod both Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous as well as Pathfinder Kingmaker on PC. This tutorial is specifically for the Unity Mod Manager, so in theory this should also work for any game that uses that mod manager. And just make sure the mod that you're going to install actually does require the Unity Mod Manager, as both Wrath and Kingmaker have a few different ways to install mods. To start, you're going to need to download a copy of the Unity Mod Manager. I personally got my copy from Nexus, but you could also try GitHub if that's more your thing. I'll leave a link below to both Nexus as well as GitHub. Once you've downloaded it, you'll need to open the zipped file with either a free program or something similar. My personal favorite is 7-Zip and I will also leave a link for that. When I downloaded my copy of the mod manager, it had the mod manager folder nestled inside of the zipped folder. So I literally just dragged and dropped it into the drive of my choice. You can either do that yourself or you can unpack it to whatever location you'd like to have the Unity mod manager in. Or alternatively, you can open up the folder so you can see all of the files, copy and then paste them into an empty folder of your choice. Whatever is easiest for you will totally work here. And it's worth it to note that this mod manager doesn't have to be in the same place as your games in order to work. Once that's done, proceed to open up the unitymodmanager.exe program file for the mod manager. You'll then see three options at the top, install, mods, and log. You'll want to make sure that you are in the install option. And below that, you'll see a drop down menu titled game. Click on it to find whatever game you'd like to mod for. In this case, I'll be selecting Wrath of the Righteous. Then you'll want to click the install option to properly install the game. Mine currently says update instead of install because I already have the mod manager installed, but it will be in the same place. You can at the bottom of this screen also see the game path to make sure that the mod manager is finding the correct drive and game that you'd like to mod for. If the mod manager can't find the path to your game on its own, you can still select the game in the list and then hit select where the folder option below it is and navigate manually over to the game path for it to recognize the game, then still hit the install option at the top. Next comes modding. Simply download your favorite mod either from Nexus or your favorite modding website and drag and drop the zipped file or packed file into the area below the install mod option. It will auto install it for you after you drop it in. You should see it in the list of mods above with the status of OK if it's installed correctly. You can also select install mod and manually find the mod you wish to install instead to install it that way. Once you've installed the mods you want, you can close the mod manager and head into the game the normal way that you would load in. The mod manager does pop up in game automatically whenever you start it up to check that everything is working correctly and if you need to make any adjustments to any of your mods. You can also simply hit control plus the F10 button on your keyboard at any point on either the main menu or while you're in game to bring up this mod manager menu. You can also in the settings section of this menu change the shortcut for that to make it whatever is more convenient for you. And after that you've successfully installed a mod in either Kingmaker or Wrath of the Righteous or another Unity game. Now, if you want to be able to install mods for both games or multiple Unity Mod Manager based games, simply switch your game in that original drop down to the game of your choice in the Mod Manager itself. And repeat the process that you did above for any of the new games. And you can freely switch back and forth between the games that you want to mod at any point. And to delete a mod, all you have to do is right click on a mod in the mod section and select uninstall. It'll then show the mod is still there, but without an OK status, symbolizing that it is in fact uninstalled. You can either just leave it there or go into your Unity Mod Manager folder and then into the appropriate game folder and delete the mod you want to get rid of. Just make sure you uninstall it first in the Mod Manager before deleting the mod folder just to be on the safe side. It is worth noting that you won't use this Mod Manager to install portraits in either Wrath of the Righteous or in Kingmaker. The easiest way to do that is to download your portrait of choice, unpack it to find the portrait that you want within it, as normally these portrait packs have a lot, and I do mean a lot of portraits, and to then head over to the character creator in either of the two games. And in the portrait section, select custom, then the plus icon, and then the open portraits folder option. 
At this point, the game will end up minimizing and open up a file folder for you. You can then simply drag and drop a portrait of your choice into it. Just make sure all three have the required sizes as well as correct file names. If everything is labeled correctly, when you do that drag and drop from one to the other, it'll ask if you want to overwrite and you can hit yes. Alternatively, you could go straight to the folder and make as many portrait folders as you want ahead of time to use within the custom section. You'll want to navigate over to your main drive, which is normally labeled as C, then go to user, pick your username within that, then the app data folder, local low, Owl Cat Games, and then choose either Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous or Kingmaker, and then the Portraits folder. And you can create more folders within that Portraits folder to install as many sets of portraits as you'd like. Also, if your app data folder isn't showing, then what you'll want to do is click the view option at the top and tick off the hidden items option to show your hidden folders and items such as, well, the app data folder. Just make sure that each of the portraits that you want to install are in its own folder as that's how the game reads the different portrait options for you. And then once you're done with that, you can head on into game, look at that custom area, and you should see all of your portraits installed. And there you have it. You can now install mods using the Unity Mod Manager for a plethora of games, as well as now install portrait mods for Wrath as well as Kingmaker. I hope you enjoy your time in both those two games as well as any other game that you might currently be playing. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!